Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Hate. This time we're covering a really strange curiosity from the SNES era. This is an unreleased game that goes by the prophetic title Steven Seagal is the final option. And thankfully this game is unreleased, which was probably the final option before the game's producers, before they killed themselves, God willing. And also God willing, this represents an era that we'll never see again. The era where an action star could get his own shitty video game just based on the size of his ego, or, you know, I guess the size of his name. Uh, if Steven Seagal is the final option, I don't want to know what your fucking situation is. At least they didn't call it Steven Seagal is the final solution. But anyway, as this is on, is on release, a lot of my criticisms don't apply. Namely, the criticism that this game just came out to try to take kids' money. I guess if it had come out, I might criticize it for that, but the fact that it hasn't means it's kind of uh, exempt from that. But it's not exempt from criticism based on what actually appears in the game right now. Uh, the story, again largely irrelevant, as in your average Steven Seagal movie. What we have here is just maybe the shittiest beat-em-up that would have ever come out in history, if it would ever load up. The craziest loading times I've ever seen on SNES. So you can see I'm a... kind of a... What, how would you even say this? I'm a bitmapped version of Steven Seagal right here, having trouble beating up these just, like, hopeless henchmen who have done absolutely nothing wrong, walking around this nameless facility. Now, every once in a while you come across these terminals, and obviously they didn't have time to fill this in. Terminal screen gives context-sensitive help. Well, not really. And then the shit is immediately like Mega Man, because as soon as we exit this terminal, those guys will have respawned already. I guess that one guy. So you can waste your time with Steven Seagal's girly jump here, uh, murdering people with your kicks, or... Well, let's just fiddle around with this. Typical Steven Seagal, just put your elbows into it and disable that door. Or, we can spend all our time doing this dope-ass karate shop moonwalk. Aw, oh, yeah, let's, let's do a little bit more of that later. Look at the scientist just punch me. Why am I even here fighting these guys? Hey, you want, you want some of this? You want some karate chop? Yeah, let's, let's kick these guys. Just seven straight-up kicks from Steven Seagal to make that guy die in the middle of a, you know, an empty space. And then just punch this scientist to death. Do some more moonwalk. I, I really like the look of this. This should be its own music video right here. Oh, that's good shit right there. And then this guy's back, so I'll demonstrate Indiana Jones style. Just pull out your gun and shoot him. It makes things a lot easier. So especially since there's no limitations on uh, ammo. Oh, fuck, both of these guys are back. Murder them. Yeah, just fire a, fire a clip non-stop into them. This does look like a Steven Seagal movie. Anyway, so we'll go through this door up here. You know, lo and behold, kung fu and gunplay are not the only things that work in this game. Check it out as soon as we get through this PlayStation 1-esque loading screen up here. Uh, I'll get this guy a little bit of distance here, and I can pull out a throwing knife and just murder him in the brain. If I can avoid getting kneed by this, you know, engineer here. Like, I've already lost half of my health. That'd be a goddamn shame if I died to one of these hard hat wearing motherfuckers. Or like Barney and half one. He's gonna kick me off the edge! Oh, okay, I got lucky. Let's get down there. I think there's a way I can pick up my knife, but that's not important. So check out Steven Seagal's awesome jump. It's like the girliest hop that I've ever seen in my entire life. Like he's trying out for the fucking triple jump team on high school. Guess what this screen says? Terminal screen gives context sensitive help, of course. And then, ah, fuck it, I forgot that these guys are back. Let's just fire blindly into the abyss. Oh yeah! That's nice. You know, this could have worked as like a light gun game in the arcades, where it was just Steven Seagal opening fire on like a school bus full of children. That would have been great. Not for the children, but anyway. So, we just can't go anywhere here. So I guess this room serves absolutely no purpose whatsoever, except to have me murder more faceless henchmen. Again, maybe this is stuff that would have been polished up in the final release, but... Like, like what god do I have to fucking get down on my knees and fillet for not allowing this game to exist? This surely would have gone down as one of, if not the worst, at least one of the strangest games of all time. I mean, come on, what kind of a concept is this? How much did the rights to Steven Seagal's name cost? I was reading about this game online, and I found out that, uh, you know, Steven Seagal actually had almost no part in the production of this game. It's, like, the, the guy that you see in front of you, that kind of chubby ponytail-wearing son of a bitch right there, it's not even Steven Seagal, they just got a look-alike in to put on a jacket and some blue jeans. You can, you can fact that on, fact check that on Wikipedia if you don't believe me. So we've actually made it about halfway through the demo so far, but there's not a whole lot else to see except for this ridiculous jumping puzzle that comes in at the end. So let's see if I can just turn around and avoid getting punched to death by Gordon Freeman here. There we go. We start doing these jumping puzzles. The problem is that, obviously, his jump is just so fucking ridiculous that it's hard to time. Look, I, those guys went off the screen two seconds ago. What is this, Mega Man? 
Or is this supposed to be like Dr. Evil's volcano lair? But there's just orange hard-headed henchmen everywhere. You kicked Steven Seagal literally in the ass and killed him. Now I can choose where I want to respawn, because obviously, this being basically just a production demo, I have an uh, unlimited live. They couldn't have been happy showing this off to potential investors, though. Especially with this rockin' soundtrack in the back. Too bad they didn't get Steven Seagal to do some kind of, like, blues rock in the background, doesn't he? Oh, come on! Doesn't he have his own band? I like, I like Seagal's scream in those moments, too. Or maybe just have Steven Seagal let's play Steven Seagal's own game and spout, you know, hippie New Age bullshit over it the entire time. So let's make sure we can jump across this elevator here. Probably the worst way you could possibly get on that. And then we'll enter the second stage, and we'll just kind of fiddle around in here for a second until either I get lost or it looks like there's no more reason to continue because, again, there is just kind of a, a dead end at some point in this demo that I can't seem to remember where it is right now. Terminal screen gives context sensitive help. To be fair, I probably should have known that that was coming. Let's wait for the scientist to come in here. Spend eight years, like, training, getting your PhD to work at this evil factory, and I'm just gonna murder you with my gun. No, let's do it in style. Let's murder him with the throwing knives. Plus, sometimes I think that just works better. Unless the guy's wearing a hard hat. What was I thinking? Shoot him in the heart! And then, okay, now the scientist will patiently wait until I can shoot his brains out. Pick up my knives here if I can. But why, why bother? I mean, I already have unlimited knives. Just keep going this way. I remember that we get into some jumping puzzles. Like, what is up with this? Come on! What is up with this factory that they have a stream, like a full on waterfall? running through their factory. It's one of the stupidest things I could possibly... Do you have to take that extra step every time you finish a jump, Steven? At least they didn't put any running in here, because Steven Seagal runs like a girl. That's a known fact. What the heck is this thing right here? I guess it would have helped, I guess, if I uh, knew anything about the game uh, game's story at all, but it just seems like, Steven, what are you getting yourself into here? You're a final option. Everyone else is dead. Chuck Norris, Jet Li, Bear Grylls, Martin Lawrence, and Big Mama's house too? All gone. You know, this kind of conjures up a scary world. What would happen if Steven Seagal was actually the last man on Earth? Would any women actually sleep with him? Uh, please, ladies, if you're watching this, and that actually happens, don't. His seed cannot afford to propagate. And then, look at this, like, what, what does this factory do? Is this Auschwitz? Look at all those skulls and skeletons that are just hiding down there in that sewer grate. Crazy! Oh, there's another elevator here. Let's take this. Oh, I may oh, but it doesn't go anywhere. Oh, but you can actually walk off the edge. Genius. What happens if I just spawn myself down here off the edge? Oh, they won't let you do that. Unfortunate. So this is the dead end that I come to in the game. All those doors lead to dead ends, too. I promise you, you're not missing a whole lot. This has been simultaneously a Let's Hate and also a Let's Play of the unreleased kind of rarity oddity known as uh, Steven Seagal is the final option. Uh, more strange than awful, but still truly awful. Uh, I'm going to leave you with me moonwalking. As always, this has been Let's Hate. Thank you for watching. If you have any suggestions, please leave them in the comments. I will see you guys next time.